Hi, welcome back to Mindfulness Doodles. What I'm looking at here is I'm looking at the app, the Zentangle app, and um, I've basically what I've done. If I go back, I've gone to Tangle Step Outs, and I've just clicked the first one, just to <clears throat> have a go at doing some. So I'm looking at N Zapel, I think it's pronounced. And I thought we could give that a go. I know that you you could probably do this from you know any sort of shape, but let's just copy the um, the step out version. So I'm going to come out of there and I go into my Procreate. And what I need to do is start that grid. So let me just go back there for a minute. It's saying um, basically di it's going up diagonal and we're doing cross and then so it's basically making them into like triangles. Okay. Go back to my procreate. Oh what happened there? Go away. Ugh. Back there, right. Okay, so first of all I'm gonna draw my border. And I've made a new pens, so it'd be a good chance for me to test them out. So I turn the occupancy up. I want a fairly big brush. I'm just gonna put my four dots. And just pausing for a moment. It's, it's always good to pause and just give some gratitude. Oops, I'm very grateful that I saw the wedding today, the royal wedding. Good to see something happy on telly instead of all the doom and gloom. Okay, so we've got to draw a grid now, and it sort of starts off like this. So, what I should have done is I should have started from here, really, like that, and then gone to the center just to make it a bit more uniformed. A bit late this side now, but I'm gonna carry on. Okay, and then it's saying um, we need to do it the other way. It's a really weird pattern they've got there. Okay, so let me just draw a line up here. I'm going to about the middle. Middle about there, um, and now it's saying um, I've got to do more triangles going across a key. So I'll turn that around for a minute. So let's draw some just some lines going up. I probably completely messed this up. Oh, well, that'll do. I'm sure it could be any sort of pattern, really. Okay, now we've got to do is draw these little rock things in there. Um, so what I'm going to do... Ooh, that was loud. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the brush size just a tab. And I'm going to draw the first rock in here. Sort of going around the edges of it, really. Oops. Okay. What do you reckon? I don't know. I'll, I'll carry on. It's sort of curving the edges, isn't it? And like that. Curving the edges there. Curving the edges. So, let's carry on. <laughs> these little ones I might leave because I might just colour them in when I get to the shading part oops my hand's not very steady My 
My hand's not steady at all. Good job I'm not a surgeon. Yeah, we saw the royal wedding today and I only saw bits of it on and off, you know, the important bits. Um, but just made a really good change to see something positive on the telly. Uh, I do like Harry. He's very down to earth. And we've got an American princess. Which is really cool. We never thought that we'd have an American princess, eh? And there you go. Dreams can come true for anyone. Yeah, so anyway, they're happy. It should be really good for the royal family, I'm sure. Uh, Mum looked quite happy and relaxed. Whoops. I'm rushing a little bit, but what can you do? Oops. <laughs> Good job I'm not a surgeon, but that's why I don't get paid to be a surgeon. Yeah, you could probably do this with any kind of shape, really. I reckon, because it, these little rock formations or whatever they, whatever you want to call them, could go around any shape, couldn't they? How are we looking? Hmm, getting there. Oops. <laughs> I think the mistake I made here is that I'm, I drew the grid lines too thick so they sort of merge into my drawing too much but I am going to probably make them all black this pen, the pen I'm using I made it's actually using um, a circle if I zoom in there you sort of see it's all circly and ble it bleeds I thought I'd try it out and I've got a, a, a I made a square one as well obviously if you're using pen and paper you know you'd be just using a ink pen or something so oops with these drawings there's no mistakes all, my, all your mistakes are part of your drawing <laughs> so don't worry about it but these I think I should have done more grid because these are a bit big uh, oops god so my hand is so shaky today I'm sort of going around the edge. It's such a big grid. I don't really normally like working with grids, but I just wanted to pick the first one I saw. But it's quite a handy pattern for filling up big areas, I suppose. If you're doing like a big mondal or something, or big zen, zen tangle. So it's worth doing. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Just sort of rushing a little bit. Shouldn't really rush, but my excuse is video time. I could speed the video up, I suppose. That I could do. How are we doing? We're getting there. Looks reminds me of Cravey Paving. Don't know if you have that in America. You just basically break up your slabs and put them down and they all look like cra crazy paving. I suppose a lot of these patterns come from what people see around them. When I, mean, I do that myself, I take photographs. When I was in Spain, I took loads of photos. 
of different patterns so I, so I could see around me. I might as well fill that up. Keep it the flow. Right, there you go. Now let's try and make this into something. So let's um, start covering up these parts here. Make them black. I suppose you, at this point you'd probably switch to a larger marker. Most most people that do Zen with pen have two markers, one quite thin, and what you do is you have one quite chunky. Really, I should switch to my other pen. That one there. It's the same pen, but I've, I've made it so it doesn't. There you go. So it feels a lot quicker. Should make it look a lot neater. You hear me rabbiting on too much. Most of the time, I don't realise what I'm saying, so you have to forgive me for that. <laughs> Half the time, I don't even remember what I say, especially when I'm drawing, because my brain's not not quite with it. On the drawing, yeah, I don't know really watch them these much and stuff, but the wedding you couldn't really avoid. And she looked really nice in in that dress. It wasn't too over the top dress, was it? Yeah, so. And I think Prince Harry and that and his brother are quite down to earth. So why do they get that from Diana? Who was also quite down to earth. Looking a bit neater, isn't it? A bit spider webby because of my shaky hand. <laughs> it looks like my shaky hand paid off. Don't know why my hand's so shaky today. I, I have just I've been at work today. Maybe that's why. Some, uh, maybe we should have some shading after this. You could get lost in these things for hours, couldn't you? These drawings, these meditations. Oh, I've got a centre gap then. I do, what should I do? Quick, make a decision. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to go around the edge as if we did it. So I'm just going to make that look like we didn't forget. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing? Cool, cool, cool. Doesn't really look like crazy paving anymore. Uh, let me go back there for a minute. Let's have a look. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have filled it up with black. Doesn't look the same, does it? Hmm. 
Okay, no, no worries. Um, go back here. Turn my occupancy down. Now you would normally switch to a pencil at this point. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go around. Well, I don't think I even need to do this because I'm on. Because I'm actually working on the same layer, so I might be able to get away with it. I'm doing this. You see, what I'm trying to do is smudge. And because I'm working on the same layer, I can actually smudge in from the black. See, like that. But you'd go around with your granite and then use your smudge tool, which I, I think is really cool. That's one of the things about using a pen and pencil and stuff. It actually looks really good when you use that smudge tool with the granite. How does that look? Oh yeah, it gives it sort of a bit bit more a bit more depth, doesn't it? Well the trouble is that there's so many so many of them. someone outside which is unusual because it's quite late must be a fox or something Okay, what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to carry on with this and I'll probably speed this up. So I'm just going to stop talking for a bit, otherwise you'll hear me talking like Mickey Mouse. Okay, um, not the best smudge tool in the world, is it? Okay, let me see if I'll just clean that up. I mean, you wouldn't have to do this on paper, but... Ooh, that makes the whole thing blurry. Because normally you can blur the... Because I did it on the same layer, I can't get away with it. Alright, no, no worry. <laughs> Looks like your eyes are going funny, doesn't it? Uh, okay, whatever. Let's not do that. Okay. Alright, there must be a way of me improving on this just a bit. Now, maybe I'll go to my whites. Let's take the brush up, occupancy right up. Let's just draw. Yeah, because I feel it's missing something. So, this is what I'm going to do. in the meetup points. Sort of takes your eye off the uh, 
smudgy parts of it, doesn't it? With the white bits sort of guide your eye away. Didn't feel that for some reason. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Not bad. So, what was that called again? Can't really pronounce that word. Okay, let me just bung my stamp in there. There you go. Yeah. So it's an N the pill. So there you go. Um. Yeah. Can't think of what else I can do to that to make. Maybe I'm, I'm really thinking that maybe I shouldn't have blackened, you know, the bit, the lines too much. I should have used a thinner pen. Maybe just blackened where I put the white dots. Because they're supposed to look a bit like rocks, but they don't look that bad. And like I said, you could put them in, in any shapes. So there you go. That's an in the pill. I can't even pronounce it. But there you go. That's pretty good. Who bro, who designed it? Does it have their name on it? Ooh. Pad's busy. Come on. Come on. Don't do this to me. Okay. Get out of there again. Go back. Right. Does it have anyone's name on there? No. Ah, oh, here we go. Um, deconstructed by... Maria Thomas, named by Maria Thomas, so she must have made it. Well, she constructed it anyway. Oh look, didn't always follow the lines in her drawing. Interesting. Yeah. So there you go. This app, incidentally, if you want to get hold of it, is this is on the the iPad. I'm looking at it on. Zentangle uh, Waterfall app, I think it's called. No, it's just called Zentangle. Mm. It's quite handy. Yeah. Okay, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll talk again soon. Take care.